In today's video we're going to be looking at completing the square and in this particular video we're just going to be looking at technique. The next video will actually include solving equations. Leslie Martin's mum is back and she's going to be helping us with this video. So today we're going to be looking at a technique called completing the square and as you see when we work our way through it you do end up indeed with something squared. The question is usually phrased write in the form x plus a all squared plus b. So this first part here is the square and the plus b is completing the square. So for example the question might say write x squared plus 10x plus 33 in the form x plus a all squared plus b. First thing to do is to consider these two terms. You're going to write those two terms into a bracket which is squared. So if you think about squaring a bracket, those two brackets will be identical and that times that has got to give you the first term. So fairly clearly that's got to be an x, that's got to be an x, x times x gives you your x squared. The term in x comes from the number there times x and the number at the end of that bracket times x and both of these numbers have to be the same. So both the numbers are half the coefficient of x. So you halve the number in front of the x. Half of 10 is 5x plus 5 or squared. Now if I multiply out the bracket which I've just got written down, x plus 5 times x plus 5, there's my x squared, so I'm happy with that. 5x plus 5x gives me 10x, so I'm happy with that. But 5 plus 5 gives me 25. And if you look at what I want to get at, I'm trying to get 33. So the easiest way to do it is to say, OK, I'm going to get rid of the 25 I don't want, and I'm going to add 33 I do want. So in the next line, write down the x plus 5 all squared again and then work out the little sum that's here. So it's take up minus 25 plus 33 which gives you plus 8. And there's the answer. It's written in the form x plus a number all squared plus a number. So to do one through without all the trimmings around the outside I'm going to write x squared minus 2x minus 5 in the form x plus a all squared plus b. So it's got to be a bracket squared. So the beginning of the bracket is going to be x. The coefficient of x here, this coefficient, is minus 2. If you halve that, you get minus 1. So I know the bracket is going to be squared is x minus 1. Over at one side, x minus 1 multiply by x minus 1 gives you x squared minus 2x and then minus 1 times minus 1 gives you plus 1. I don't want that plus 1 so I'm going to take it away and replace it with what I do want which is the minus 5 and that's equal to x minus 1 all squared minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6 and that's your final answer. A harder example is when the coefficient of x squared is not 1. So something like complete the square with 4x squared minus 8x minus 12. Notice that this time I'm not saying in the form x plus a squared plus b. I can't do that now because I have a coefficient in front of the x squared. So these questions generally just say complete the square. The problem is this coefficient here, this number 4 in front of the x squared. So the first thing you do is take the 4 out as a common factor, a big 4 right at the beginning of the expression, but don't forget about it later on. Use curly brackets if you can draw them, or big square brackets, because we're going to need round brackets later on. And I'm going to divide everything by 4. So inside here I'll get x squared. 8 divided by 4 is 2, 
12 divided by 4 is 3. So from the first line to the second, all I've done is taken out a common factor of 4. Now keep the 4 going. Don't lose it. And it's this bit inside here I am now going to complete the square with. So is a bracket squared. First term is x. Half minus 2 is minus 1. So it's x minus 1 all squared. If I do x minus 1 times x minus 1 over here, I get x squared minus 2x plus 1. Get rid of that plus 1 and replace it with the minus 3 that you want. So I have four lots of x minus 1 all squared minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. And then you can choose whether you leave the expression written like that or you expand out the curly bracket, in which case you get four lots of x minus 1 all squared minus 16 because 4 times 4 gives you 16.